Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Carl Bartling and I'm the PPC manager here at the Hoff. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this quick presentation on how to get quality traffic for a lower cost with Google Ads. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get cheaper clicks than everyone else, including your competitors. So diving into this, the number one secret to gain cheaper clicks is very, very simple. Google wants to serve up the best ads for its users. As you already know, Google Search is a free search engine. It's one of the largest search engines on the internet. The way they make their money, or most of their money, is through advertising. So they want to give the best user experience possible. So they give, uh, they give the, the bad ads are actually more expensive, and they actually give discounts to good ads. And so how do they deem those ads good or bad? Well, it comes from a actual metric they call a quality score. And it's based on a variety of factors like ad relevance, um, landing page experience, click-through rate or expected click-through rate. And, and those three factors really make it up. Uh, but according to WordStream, the discounts are pretty significant when you look at it. So if you have a quality score, it's all based out of 10. If you have a quality score like a 1, 2, or 3 out of 10, you, you see your cost per click can be increased almost by 400%. Whereas if you get a higher quality score like a 6, 7, 8, or plus, uh, your, your discounts are coming in uh, pretty, pretty steep. So if you have $20 cost per click, if you get a 10 out of 10 cost, uh, quality score, your cost per click can be discounted by almost 50%. So now quality score is not the end all be all. And we actually don't even measure this, um, when it, when we look at successful campaigns. So I don't want you going into your campaigns today and looking at quality score, um, or yelling at your campaign manager and saying, well, my quality score is not good. This is not a successful campaign because that is not truly what matters. What matters is the ROI of the campaign. That's where we deem it as a successful or unsuccessful campaign. So I put this point in here to prove that just Google wants to serve up good ads. And the best way to get high click-through rates, low cost, and get high conversions is what I call is message match. So an example of message match is we have Sam the dentist. He's a local dentist and he offers a few different services like most businesses do. And he decides to set up some PPC, uh, just local for himself in his, in his office there. Going through step by step instructions, Sam loads all of his keywords into an ad group. He has Invisalign braces, Tampa, porcelain veneers, dentist checkup, best dentist, root canals, dental implants, and maybe even a few more that he throws in there. Everything looks good though, right? Uh, and then he goes through, sets up a, a general ad, Sam's Dentistry, see our new patient specials book now. And uh, it's, it's everything by the book, right? It kind of brought you step by step through Google Ads. But this is what happens when a user actually goes through Google. And I think this is a really important point to make because this is where we want to take ourselves away from the advertiser, the marketer for a second and actually think about what the user's journey, the, the potential customer's journey is when they're actually doing this. So they went to Google, just like most of us would on our desktop or mobile device. Um, and we typed in Invisalign Tampa. At that point, Sam's ad came up. Remember, it's general one, Sam's dentistry, see our new patient specials, book now. But we have made one major big problem in here. There's no message match. These don't match. So what this person is looking for is Invisalign in Tampa. Uh, in this ad, you can see here that there's nothing about Invisalign, nor is about that, uh, that about that specific location. So we want to actually make sure that when somebody's searching, the ad is popping up directly for what they're looking for. And overall, the click is lost, which then brings down your click-through rate. So your expected click-through rate goes down to a low click-through rate, and you get a poor quality score, like a below average for that uh, actual metric, and you don't get the click, uh, your ad relevance is low, and then your landing page experience is not the best. So overall, Google will raise the prices because now your cost per click is getting increased, and not only are you not getting good clicks, but you're also paying a high price. It's just a triple whammy of bad news, and we don't want to see this. So let's show you how to fix it step by step. And that's called message match. So message match is, is it goes into, of course, the ads that we just spoke about, but it's also, it goes into a little bit of structure and how to set up your campaigns. So instead of lumping everything into one group, just like Sam did, uh, where he had all of his different services, you want to get very granular in your ad groups. Uh, in each ad group, you want to have specific keywords. So one would be all about veneers, one ad group, and then your ads would be all about veneers. And then you would have, um, you'd have 
implants, uh, implants inside the ad groups, and then your ads would be all about implants. And so the more specific we get, the better ads, the better click-through rate, and the better pricing. You see how that works? So here's a great example. We have Invisalign Tampa, and you can see right away inside the ad that we have Invisalign uh, right there in the headline, which is great. Somebody knows exactly um, that they're in the right place. Once again, Invisalign braces or Invisalign dentist, right when they click on it, it's all about Invisalign. The next one, Dentist Tampa. Uh, this is a pretty pretty broad one, but you can see right away in our uh, first headline, we have number one, Tampa Dentist. And then uh, in the second sentence in our description, we have another uh, friendly dentist as well as an affordable dentistry. So when somebody types in Dentist Tampa, Best Dentist, or Dentist Near Me, or even other uh, long tail phrases, they're actually going to see this ad right away, and this is going to be more appealing to them because this gives them their solution that they're looking for. So this is just one other way to make sure we're getting that message match and we're not losing that click. And finally, a third example here is the root canal. So once again, right right away, we have root canal right there in the actual headline. This is going to show up directly for our um for our user, as well as we're gonna we're gonna win that click. The ad relevance is high, and we have that not only in our headline and our description. Um, you can see here that it says no limits on use, top root canal insurance alternative. So root canal right right there um, in the description is a little bit bolded, and we didn't just bold that actually for the physical um, for this little presentation. Uh, when you actually have root canal, when you type in root canal into Google, and I, I, I advise everyone to go and do this afterwards, um, when you guys go and do this, it actually bolds those specific areas that you've done. So uh, for, the, for the ads, you'll actually, if you type in root canal, um, if their ads show root canal inside of the copy, it's actually gonna bold it automatically inside of those descriptions. So the biggest thing with message match now we're actually showing the surgeries exactly what they're looking for. When somebody types in root canal, our ads are going to come up and talk all about root canals. They click our ads more, our quality score goes up, and our costs ultimately go down. So it's a really easy fix. It's all about structuring and making sure that the t going the extra step when setting up your ads. But once again, inside of each ad group, you want to have a uh, proper set of keywords that relate to each other. So if it's veneers, everything should be about veneers in that in that ad group, all your keywords, and then your ad should match that as well. Um, and then breaking that down, each ad group should have your different uh, services broken down. Even if you have one ad group just for dentists, your ad should be all about dentists. So do you see how using message match and tight ad groups can dramatically improve your click-through rate? You can literally decrease your ad cost by 30% plus by just doing this one thing. This is something that everybody can go into their ad account right now or when they're setting up a new campaign and get this done. All right, so that's it. A quick presentation on how to lower your cost per click using Google Ads. The biggest takeaways are going to be using message match. Make sure you have those really tight ad groups um, with those matching ads. So make sure those keywords are matching those ads and those main keywords are actually plugged into and make sense with your ads. Next thing is we want to make sure we're watching and monitoring that quality score, and that's going to allow us to get that lower cost per click. We're going to win that click. We're going to get that lower click. We're going to get the higher click through rate, excuse me. We're going to drive those leads and sales to your business and ultimately grow your business month after month. If you feel like you need some more help with PPC, feel free to book a, a free PPC strategy session with one of our PPC experts today. We'll go over everything from strategies to quality score and so much more. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much.